Ooh, the juice was flowing at the LA Lakers versus Minnesota Timberwolves basketball game on Sunday <laughs> night. No, this, this is, is not suddenly a sports show, you guys. We are talking about Lizzo getting her courtside twerk on. Lizzo just <laughs> still in the Lake Show. You know what I'm saying? This is her at the Lakers game. Uh, I should say Timberwolves because it was clear to us pretty quickly who she, was, who she was rooting for. But this is Lizzo courtside living her best life. But she was also seen twerking in a thong, y'all. And that's what has the internet talking today. Like, you know how Regina George had the cutouts on the chest? Like, Lizzo's bringing the cutouts on her booty, okay? Which... Are we surprised? We're not that surprised. No, because it's Lizzo, you know? Uh, but it did it did cause a little bit of controversy for yeah. folks who are watching at home thinking it might have been a little too inappropriate of an outfit for such a public affair. I mean, not gonna <laughs> lie, there's a lot of eyeballs around, especially eyeballs of little kids. And I'll never forget, my mom took me to a Britney Spears concert when I was younger, and the two women in front of us had their thongs hanging out. What? And my mom asked them, like, you know, to cover up, right. and they wouldn't, so we moved. Like, oh. I understand where you don't want your children to see that. Yeah. Granted, you can go to a public pool and see it anyway. Exactly. So. That and also, like, I doubt cameras were rolling when she was showing her backside, as you guys can see from this clip from the official Lakers Instagram account. Mm -hmm. She's not turning around. It's the internet, and guess what? Yeah. You can't take the internet away from your kids. <laughs> so what are you gonna do about it, okay? I'm uh, defending Lizzo here. Like, you know let her what? Live, live her truth. She was living her truth last night, and she was living her best life. Yeah. And one of my favorite parts about her being there is she even get, got in on all like the courtside sideline reporting action, uh. including an interview with uh, Fox Sports. Just, just take a listen to what she had to say. Spent some time in Minnesota. Who are you cheering for tonight in this basketball game? Let me tell you something. Both teams are great. I'm personally cheering for number 32. <laughs> Carl Anthony Town? Mm-hmm. That's your guy? That's my baby. Okay. You know him? Nope. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> New man on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Listen, you come to a basketball game, you gotta shoot your shot. You gotta shoot your shot. I like okay. the basketball pun there, Denny. Slam dunk. Aaron Way Andrews, to go. Watch your back. I'm for your sports okay, reporting. watch out there. Okay, best part about that interview though is the reporter says, like, do you know him? No. no not well, yet. I think that what's his name? Carl Anthony Towns, number 32. I think he might know uh, know Lizzo shooting his, her, her shot for him now. Now listen, Lizzo was like, she cultivated her career out of Minnesota, out mm -hmm. of Paisley Park with Prince. Yeah. So she's no stranger to the city, but I feel like, I think that's the first time she's been courtside and she owned yeah. the moment. That's how you do it, folks, okay? And rewrite your own lyrics right. to fit the situation. Listen, uh, this of is course. why she's uh, the most nominated artist <laughs> this year at the Grammys, okay? Just one of the many reasons. And you know, obviously we mentioned that there was, she was living her best life, living her truth, whatnot, but of course social media had to, you know, mm. attack her for that inappropriate outfit or so the internet says. Hey. But you know what? She is not letting that stop her because what do you do when the internet comes after you? You release a brand new music video That's the exactly next day. That's exactly what she did. That is what happened this morning, you guys. We've gotten an all new visual to the music video for Good As Hell. Of course, the original one, you know, released back in May 2016. 16. So we're getting like a, a reprisal video. Because again, <laughs> all eyes are on Lizzo. And what's amazing about this visual, you guys, is that the video actually was shot during Homecoming Week 2019 at Baton Rouge, Louisiana's Southern University. Now, this is a bit of a full circle moment because you guys yeah. know Liz was a flutist, but she actually was in marching band in elementary school all the way through high school. So this is kind of like, yeah. again, like I mentioned, a full circle moment. Full circle moment. moment. Yeah. And uh, love the uh, flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> right? <laughs> they're there. Hashtag ad, hashtag not an ad. Let's we go. stand. We stand. Because <laughs> oh. she's 100% authentic, okay? She's 100% that Yeah. Beat. Someone else who doesn't, Miss Beyonce, y'all. Okay, let's get into it. Queen B is on the cover of Elle mm -hmm. magazine, and obviously she's done one or two uh, spreads for Elle in the past, but what's cool about this one, you guys, is she is taking questions directly from us, mm -hmm. from the Beehive. Literally from Instagram, Facebook, uh, email. email. If you, like when we got the email sent out to us from the cover, it literally says each question, it breaks it down, like here's one question via Instagram, here's one question via Twitter, because ain't nobody gonna get Beyonce in one room to answer a bunch of questions on one day. You know I'm a proud <laughs> member of the Beehive, and I've are. always said that I want to interview her because I just, I feel like I get to, I, I feel like I know her as mm -hmm. a fan. And the fans, they all ask the things that we care about. Number one, what is your Snapchat name, Beyonce? Well, guess what? She's not going there. In fact, she no. says, I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous, 
but I don't know what my Snapchat is. Sorry to that Snapchat. Listen, of course it's I'm gonna call BS on that one. <laughs> you know, but I understand where she's coming from. She doesn't want to give away her username. We want it. She wants, there's Cassie. some things that Beyonce wants to keep private and apparently her Snapchat name is one of those things. But we know she has a Snapchat though because of all of the photos mm. that she has posted to either Instagram or like here on her, her website. website right. That is a Snapchat filter. Oh, I mean, 100%. so many times we'll see, you know, these type of photos that really can only be derived from um, Snapchat. Snapchat. I mean, Instagram, yes, you can play with the filters now, but like those ones in particular, like the bunny ears. Yeah. Now we know what she and Blue were doing sitting courtside at that exactly. basketball game. She had her phone right there. Right. Yep, there right there. They were, they were on the Snapchat. I will <laughs> say props to her though. Like this is why she's my queen. Her response to that was in reference to the Kiki Palmer meme about like, I don't know who this man is. Sorry <laughs> to this man. She goes, I don't know my Sorry Snapchat Sorry to that is. Snapchat. So good. I'm going to say it's Queen B, like simple as that. I love it. Queen uh, B, one, two, three, four, something. I don't oh, know. You, oh, you anyway. think it's, oh, you're trying to figure out her Snapchat name. Yeah. Mm, bootylicious, maybe. <laughs> and that's what this uh, next thing we learned about Beyonce is from the yeah. L spread. Uh, Beyonce, she talked about a lot of things, mm -hmm. but one of the things that a fan asked uh, was her answer back in the day, back in 2001, when she was with Destiny's Child. She was asked like what her favorite animal is, or if uh -huh. she could be any animal, what would it be? That is such an infamous interview, you guys, and she responded, she goes, I still love whales, and I love being in the ocean. And that video, by the way, was after a 16-hour mm -hmm. press day, not marijuana. Let me just clear real quick that a lot of fans thought she might have been under the influence, influence during yeah. this uh, iconic interview. It's so funny because, and we'll show you the interview in a second, I was looking through YouTube comments from the original interview years ago, and people are like, someone get them some food, like, that's immediately what people's thoughts went to because of just the way kind of the, the interaction was. It was a long interview. It was pushing 20 minutes, but. It's so funny though. In fact, you guys, in case you've never seen it, here is the 2001 interview we were talking about. Take a look. I know what I'd be. A whale. Why? I love whales. I love whales since I was a little girl. So it's her mannerisms, it's yeah. how she's chewing her candy. And like. ironically, the the publication is called Toasted. It's called Toasted. But the best part about it is like the question from the fan was if you could be an animal for a day, for a day would whale. you still be a whale? But she took the opportunity to be like, you know what, now that I'm talking about this, it was not marijuana, it was after a 16 hour press day. Iconic. Which, you, you know what, you know how it is working like a 12 hour, 13 yes. hour day. It gets exhausting, then you got a camera up in your face, like of course they're gonna be a little bit out of it. But I just love that so many years later, literally 18 years later, she's now clarifying in the magazine that she was not high. She was not high. To be fair, social media didn't really exist back then, you know? Mm -hmm. So now people are talking about it as they bring up that yeah. interview. It's so good though, it's so good. I love that she addressed it. Something else that is so good about this whole spread with Beyonce is of course she gives us the fun little nuggets that we can talk about, like the Snapchat, right. and clarifying that she wasn't high, things like that. But she also <laughs> gives us Beyonce and gives, yeah. up, gives us depth and she gave a few quotes about the meaning of life and how she has found her true inner self mm -hmm. that are just so elegant and so meaningful especially talking about the miscarriages right. that she has gone through of course she had a miscarriage before blue and she really opened up in depth about how you know she kind of kept that all private how it affected her and how it also impacted her thoughts on things like awards something that's yeah. something that's so frivolous in the grand scheme of things like she says that you know her miscarriage offers some perspective and the reporter, I mean, we Elle also asked about the fact that Lemonade was essentially snubbed by the Grammys mm -hmm. when they, she only took home two. And she says, I learned that all pain and loss is in fact a gift. Having miscarriages taught me that I had to mother myself before I could be a mother to someone else, but also offer a little more perspective. Right, the, oh, 100%, that important. success is not just a piece of hardware exactly. from an award show. And that's, you know, she she had said something about like when she, when she finally had Blue, like it put everything into yeah. perspective. And another quote that I loved so much was, I began to search for deeper meaning when life began to teach me lessons I didn't know I needed. Success looks different to me now. Take that, Grammys. Wow. Okay, you can keep your hardware. She says B number one is no longer her priority. Mm -hmm. It is 
creating art and a legacy that will live far beyond me. You better preach, girl. That's well, you what you're know doing. what? She's got more art coming and more of That's her right. legacy coming literally in the new year. January 18th, we can expect a brand new Ivy Park collection. She's been Take posting my money. all morning long on social media. Just some, you know, teaser promo shots right here. Uh, she did kind of open up to Elle about Ivy Park saying it incorporates her personal style mm -hmm. and expands that to include something for everyone. She goes on to say she loves experience experimenting with fashion, mixing high and low, sportswear with couture, even masculine and feminine. And listen. An icon. An icon and a true businesswoman because the last time she covered Elle, she was there to promote the last Ivy Park line. Like she's just like yeah. using it as a platform to promote her business and that is a boss, okay? A boss, babe. Speaking of boss, babe. I know. From one cover star <laughs> to the next, Cardi B mm -hmm. is on the cover of Vogue, but she's not alone, folks. She's oh, on there with baby culture. Yeah, I hate to say it. I love Cardi B so much, but all eyes are on culture. I mean, covering Vogue already at one years old. I mean, well, I, <laughs> she's a lot farther than us in our career right now. I Cassie. literally was trying to think of the only, you know, photo spread I was a part of as one year old is those like naked photo shoots you do with your mom. Like, hey, you were that sounded really weird. But you know, those like perfect, elegant photos. It ain't Vogue though. <laughs> it, ain't Vogue. it was JC Penny. Right, I'll tell it you ain't that. Vogue. But Culture's first magazine cover, kind of amazing. But it's mm -hmm. inside the mag where, of course, in true Cardi B fashion, she gets so candid. In fact, she addresses rumors of Offset, her husband's cheating head on. She says, everybody has issues. I believe in forgiveness. In fact, she says, I prayed on it. Me and my husband, we prayed on it. We had priests come to us and we just came to an understanding like, bro, it's really us against the world. He has my back for everything. I have his back for everything. So when you cheat, you're betraying the person that has your back the most. Why would you do that? We have come to a clear understanding. For me, monogamy is the only way I'll beat your ass if you cheat on me. <laughs> There are so many things about that quote that I love so much. One being that she is not afraid to be open mm -hmm. about her faith and how faith mm. played an important role in mending their relationship right. because she is very right. At the end of the day, it's she and Offset against the world and it's Absolutely. their relationship, their relationship with God that they have to work through. And I like the fact that, you know, she brought in a, a, a priest to help kind of mediate that and, and kind of facilitate the forgiveness and, it's you know, as someone who is a, a person of faith, right. you know, I that, that that speaks volumes. That's probably what's been holding their marriage together because, of yeah. course, they did take a break for a little bit. Uh, but she is clearly, Cardi's clearly offsets ride or die because this quote comes shortly after yeah. uh, Cardi slammed cheating rumors with Offset. You guys will remember Takashi 6 ix girlfriend Jade claimed that Offset slid into her DMs. Ooh. Cardi responded in a now deleted video to show that Offset's Instagram and Twitter account, they were hacked. But so. don't you worry, quote. I'll beat your ass if you cheat on exactly. me. Exactly, I think Offset Cardi knows better. Herself. That's what I'm saying. I love that. Can we just like make that quote size 72, that frame part. it on the wall? I'm honestly getting, All of I'm that. getting t shirts made, Cass. <laughs> okay, getting t shirts made. Uh, all right, you guys, it is time to move on. Our MVP, the most viral post. I'm not going to lie, y'all. When I saw this photo come up on my social media, uh, I I had to I had to look twice and I did a double closely take. and do a little zoom in. Yes, that is Kanye West. Found the silver lining. Here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it wasn't that funny, Denny. <laughs> oh, I thought it was good. But here is Kanye, who showed up at the Marine Stadium in Miami over the weekend in head to toe silver body paint. I mean, this is this looks like someone that you see on Michigan Avenue in Chicago, dressed up or on the streets of New York, Hollywood like Boulevard. waiting to scare you. The Walk of Fame. Yeah. Listen, I don't know guys. why I went to Chicago and New York first. Yes, right outside. Right outside our, exactly Hollywood <laughs> Boulevard. Uh, so he was there to perform the lead role in his new opera, Mary. It's, of course, the Christmas nativity story told through Ye's Sunday service gospel. But the internet really jumped onto this photo because he's looking like a couple things. They did what the internet does best. They compare to other things that have gotten our attention Does he not look like CeeLo Green? Yes, yes, 100%. Remember when CeeLo did head to toe gold in 2017 at the Grammys? Just, you know, as long as they're not mixing hardwares because you never mix silver <laughs> and gold. Uh, let's take a look at some of the Twitter reactions. One person wrote, I wish 2019 me could time travel and tell 20, 2004 me that in 15 years Kanye would be doing an opera in a fire 
your blanket on a boat. What are y'all smoking in 2019 would have been my first question. It's so funny because uh, Kim, his wife, also recently just posted a video, or I should say a photo, where she's also wearing silver. You know, the family does everything together. They like, love the chrome colors. They love the chrome. She showed off actually also the Yeezy foam runners, which are those disgusting shoes disgusting. that she's wearing on her shoes. You know what's so funny is right I there. saw this photo and I was like, oh my God, baby Chicago, so cute. And then we zoomed uh -uh. in and I was like, oh, those that's nasty. That's that what, looks like that silly cyber truck thing that Elon Musk has <laughs> driving through the streets of Los Angeles right now. Like just there's some things that I will not understand. Or that we need to buy. The internet has done these properly. Get rid of? We need to get rid of them. Oh, we need to get rid of them. I don't, oh, I don't want them at all, but we oh, need to get rid of them is yeah, what I'm yeah. trying to say. But the internet has dubbed those Yeezy Crocs, and I think I agree with them there. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, can we go back to that photo of Kanye, though, real quick? Because he's out here looking like, you know, uh, you know, Violet from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when she blows up like a like a blueberry. He's looking like the silver version of this a little bit. You know, he I, looks different. I missed, I missed that boat of You the did? Oh, that's a, it's a shame. <laughs> Movie, but... Uh... Or maybe like Missy Elliott, Super Dupa Fly. You know, when she... Oh, it actually <laughs> looks like it here. With the big trash can, or trash bag. I can't. All right. Internet, what are your <laughs> thoughts on it? We'd love to know. Tweet us, Facebook us, MySpace us, All DM it. us. You know how to get a hold of us. In Email fact, us. Snapchat us. We know our usernames. Beyonce might not, but we do. I've got one more plug Actually, for you. Actually, I don't know what our, my username is. Come watch the download here on ET Live, guys. Weekdays here. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is download the ET Live app. We can, you can download it for free. It's available on Fire TV, the Apple Store, Google Play, and of course, Roku. And okay. don't forget, you guys, make sure Friday the 13th you are tuning in because ET Live is going to have all of the content you need for the Streamy Awards, Daddy Directo, and our very own Oscar. Grace, you're going to be on the red carpet. Are you prepping? Are you ready? We're ready. Okay, great. ET Live is the official live stream for the streaming awards. You can only catch the red carpet interviews with us here at ET Live. So, of course, make sure you guys download it. You're welcome for that plug. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>